Thanks our family at Charmin, and I've got a special bonus video for you today. Today I am taking part in the spring decorate and clean with me with Heidi from Happily Thrive and Heidi and Lindsay from Domer Home. Welcome to Fixin' 2. I am so excited to be uh, jumping in and participating in this fun spring clean and decorate with me. It is going to be an awesome collaboration with these wonderful ladies and if you don't know who they are, I highly suggest that after you finish this video, go and check out their channel. I will have both of their channels linked in the description box below as well as the playlist I will have also linked below and there's going to be tons of other ladies in there with wonderful inspiration to give you that inspiration to to decorate your home for spring slash Easter. I know those kind of go together, the bunnies and the carrots and the eggs. It's all fun and it's gonna be absolutely beautiful when we're done. And I am so excited to get into this. Now, I don't typically do the decorate, clean and decorate with me, but I thought that this would be a fun time to see how you can put some of the items that um, you make on these tutorials that we do here on Fixin' 2, and you can put them into your home and you can see how you can use them to decorate your home for spring, Easter. So let's get started getting this place cleaned up and get it ready for the spring decor. The first thing that I love to do whenever I'm decorating or changing over um, to the decorating for each season is just to take everything down on the areas that I'm wanting to decorate and clean it really good. And it's kind of like I'm doing a spring clean <laughs> each time I decorate for the seasons. I don't um, do this too often because I only decorate for certain ones, but this is, you know, what I try to do each time I put up new decor. I'll just take it all down, wipe it down, and kind of put everything in one central location. Now what you'll see as I'm cleaning and decorating, of course, is that I have sped up the video and um, that's really just to give you the full effect of all of the areas that I'm cleaning and decorating because if I was to let this go at the real time recording, this would be a couple of hours long and I know y'all don't want to see that. So this is just giving you a fast paced idea of where I cleaned, what I did. Like here, I am actually going up into the attic to get all of my decor down, but taking up the Valentine stuff that we took down already and gonna be bringing down all of my spring decor or at least I thought it was all of my spring decor, and then I realized I was missing a box and found it in another part of the house. I guess it just never got put up in the attic last spring. Well, this is all of my decor that I will be putting out for the most part. Um, lots of florals, lots of um, bright colors and just some fun stuff. A lot of this stuff will be also projects that I did last spring and bringing them out this spring to be able to put them in. I will um, make sure that I link the playlist to all of my spring um, DIYs that I did last year.
Now one of the things that you will see me do several times throughout the video is I am one to put stuff in a certain place and then take a step back, look at it, see if it's something that I like, and then I will probably change it out two or three times, maybe even four times, before I actually settle on exactly what I like in that space. Now this faux galvanized tear tray is a project that I did back in August of last year and it is, I will make sure that I link it down in the description box for you below because it is not a part of my spring playlist and it's a really simple easy um, painting technique that I did with some Dollar Tree items and made and created this tear tray. Now my tear tray is not really complete as far as I'm concerned. I feel like it needs a little uh, more stuff on it and but I, I mean it's cute the way it is at the moment but there I will be probably either creating um, a couple of new little items to go on it for the spring season or if I find something I'll definitely add to it. Like I said earlier, a lot of the uh, decor pieces that I'll be putting out are from projects that I made last year. And this is one that was a very simple, very easy decor piece and the items that you, you can get these from the Dollar Tree right now. They have them in their spring um, items. So this is really cute and really simple to make. Now we're going to put a few last minute details on the cleaning and a few little items left to be put out and we'll be ready to show you what the final outcome look for spring is. Well, 
here is the final look at how everything turned out. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the tour and I'll be back with you here in just a couple of minutes. Well, Fixer family cleaned and decorated in the living room, and I love it. It's so bright, so full of color, because I'm really a farmhouse rustic kind of gal, and I love all of the color and the flowers, and just, um, just definitely spells spring. Now, I will have it linked in the iCards above and down in the description box below. If it won't fit in the iCards above, it will definitely be in the description. But each one of the projects that I did last spring, of the items that are up here, I will make sure that you have access to those so that you can go and check those out, how I made those. I am so in love with the way it turned out i just keep saying that but it really does brighten things up and we've had a lot of rain a lot of gloom and so i'm excited to bring the springtime in don't forget to check out the playlist that will also be linked down below of this fun clean and decorate with me collaboration and also don't forget to check out heidi sambal over at happily thriving heidi and lindsay domer over at domer home They're links will also be listed down in the description box below for you to run over and check them out. I know you will love it. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and take a look around today. If this is the first time to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Definitely click that subscribe button and the notification bell that's right next to it so that you don't miss any other videos. We love to have you here and we love for you to become a part of the Fixer 
or family. And also, I do videos every Friday and throw bonus videos in there from time to time, just like this one. So make sure that you are subscribed. Also, give me a big thumbs up and let me know if you liked this style of video. I enjoy doing it, but I also want to do what you like to see. I still do home decor, DIYs, tutorials um, on a budget. So make sure that you're checking those out as well. Well guys, I love you so much. I'm so glad that you were here today. And always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.